Over the New Year holiday, I made a text post here on the channel to announce the new redesign that I launched for PlayStoreSales.com. This is a website that I started about eight years ago, and since then I've worked a couple of hours each day to maintain it. The goal of the website is to display the best Android app and game sales that are available at any given time. The options that were available for the community at that time didn't seem to have any moderation to them at all. So they would be flooded with ancient apps that hadn't been updated in years, poorly designed live wallpapers, and games that were nothing more than free-to-play options disguised as premium apps. The website had been using the same design since it was launched, so last year I began working on a new theme that would hopefully make it look more modern. Since I was taking some time off during the New Year holiday break, I was able to put in enough work to get it the new design ready to be pushed live. The new update to PlayStoreSales.com has been available for a couple of months now, and everything seems to be running well. So with that work behind me, I recently began working on adding some requested features to the website with the first being a way to track the price history of apps and games. This feature only tracks the price of Android applications and games that have been featured on the website since Google has yet to release a public API for the Play Store. But each time an app sale gets published on the website, it will automatically log the price right on the page. This information is going to be displayed under the main details area and right before the app description. I have settled on this accordion style for right now, but that could change in the future. For a few years, I have been tracking the highest price and the lowest price that these apps and games have been listed for, but I felt even that was a bit lacking. For example, if a game had the lowest price listed at 99 cents, but it's only regularly discounted to 199, then how is the reader to know when the last time it was listed for the lowest sale price. And what about games that frequently get discounted to the same price, but you just can't justify buying it during the current sale? If you had the price history data and you knew that a game was marked down in price about every two months, then you would be more inclined to save up and wait until that next sale happened. Sadly, I don't have historical data when it comes to price changes. Remember, everything that gets listed on the website is done by hand. So from the app listings to uploading the screenshots and the removal of apps and games when the sale has expired, it's all done by hand. So the price history graph of most things you see on the website right now is going to be slim with only one or two data points. But as time goes by and I'm able to collect more data on these price changes, you'll begin to see these graphs fill out and become more useful for the community. I have other features in mind for the Play Store Sales website that are being worked on right now. 
For example, I would like to have a way for people to enter their email address and receive a notice whenever an application or game has been discounted. Or maybe have it set up in a way to receive an email when it has been discounted to a certain price. I would appreciate it if you all went and checked out the website playstoresales.com and look over its new design and use the comments section below to let me know what you think about the redesign as well as the new price history graph that you see under the app details section. The website has been up and running for eight years now and I'm honored to be able to provide the resource for the Android community.